Yeah, it's all good. What are you doing? I'm reading the book. Here. This is trash. This is better. Oh, wow. Electoral engineering. Voting rules and political decay. Keep on notes. The book that you read had two theories. The first was... No choice. Cultural modernization. I'm going to write about these theories in two aspects. First aspect is partisan unification. Partisan identification, it's the parts that you choose. And the second part is social prejudice. Social cleavage is about the uh, social groups uh, supporting the party. Uh, so, uh, in the partisan identification, as I said, there are two theories the rational choice and cultural modernization. According to rational choice, this arrived at the table rational choice, cultural modernization, two aspects part partisan identification and uh, social. Rational choice and social privileges in majoritarian countries, parties will seek to become catch all parties, but in proportional system, uh, the parties can safely stick uh, to a narrow base. There's uh, more privileges in politics in a proportional system. So, in majoritarian system, parties want to. Cultural changes. Uh, privileges will be taken in post industrial societies where social class and religion have less influence. This uh, privilege policy is defined with social economic and human development. So we can type it, uh, we can describe it on the graph. Here's a y axis is social privileges, and the x axis is uh, human of human development, the social privileges defined. Voters are influenced by national habits, therefore it leads to discriminations of certain groups of people. The more significant discriminations are uh, of uh, women. Their chances to win on the elections quite lower than of uh, the same. Uh, therefore, uh, if a woman uh, tries to get a place in uh, some office, they try to uh, uh, to take part in a proportional election, not in majoritarian system. Moreover, we can tell you about e-voting. That's uh, voting from home place or with your personal computer, or from polling station with special equipment. Uh, e-voting is generally considered about saving your time. It's more convenient for everyone. You don't need to go from work or uh, or, or or waste your time on weekends to uh, vote for something. So uh, this e-voting should uh, have very high standards of security, efficiency, and some other stuff to be uh, appropriate uh, voting. So uh, that's why we say no to this kind of technologies because uh, these technologies are, are not on such a level but they can take your attention because th this is a key point of uh, reformation in voting. The same situation as uh, the discrimination of women who have these uh, ethnic minorities. Uh, they have a lack of representation in the parliament and in the senate. Therefore, they also need to participate in uh, proportional
emotional election to win uh, the race. Uh, and also the reason as uh, uh, case for them is to uh, to make uh, and they also can unite with other minorities in the parliament to win the election. They can represent their uh, own 